There's a cow gun in Just Cause 4. Rico, you can't ignore what's going on here. We need your help. Now. I'm not doing this again. It's already started. You thought you could just walk away like this? You need me, Rico. Let's see about that. I am the fear behind my name's broken light. The enforcer of every rule I now broken light. That information ain't misleading, that gun is smoking light. Brother, he is. I don't care who he is or what he wants. We're nearly ready. Give him a taste. Just... Guys, come see this. We've never been up against anything like it. They want to bring the thunder. Let's bring it. Good day, ladies and gents. You know who it is. Just Cause 4 is out in a few days. Or right now? This is a speedy update video and smoother trailers. Something really awesome they've added into Just Cause 4 is the ability to melee grenades back to enemies. And yes, it seems like there's a cow gun easter egg somewhere. These are the official achievements for Just Cause 4. And there's a cow gun achievement. DLC. We have a description for all the DLC being released and each of them sounds actually really badass. Daredevils is about an underground street racing gang appearing and duking it out with death races. Demons is about Rico bringing down literal demons in Solis. And Danger, where the agency has had enough of Rico and they're bringing all they can to take him down. Speculation time. I'm guessing Daredevil will bring new vehicles, weaponized or other, and a new type of mission. I can't wait to see what this pack brings to the table in terms of racing. Demons could be about some sort of ancient virus released from one of the Aztec temples and it's up to Rico to stop its spread. I could maybe expect some sort of zombie style horde and maybe potentially even a some sort of super powered boss fight. And finally Danger. The agency is doing its best to take Rico down and they're bringing loads of high tech weapons in to do the job. I hope they bring this back around to Just Cause 3 where there's a mech grip weapon from the mech land assault DLC and some sort of portable Bavarian shield from the end of the Sea Heist DLC. That's all for the general updates, Just Cause 4 is coming out in a bit and I'll leave you guys with the smoother version of the deep dive trailer. Peace. Just Square Enix and Avalanche Studios have pushed the limits of open world sandbox games, combining unlimited freedom, a fully customizable toolset, and never seen before gameplay physics to make the largest, most beautiful, and dangerous Just Cause world ever built. Welcome to Solis. Powered by its new Apex engine, Just Cause 4 has never looked or played better. And once again, the action has been dialed up to 11. Set in South America, you play as Rico Rodriguez, a former agent hell-bent on uncovering the truth behind his father's past in what will be Rico's most dangerous and personal mission yet. Inspired by countries like Peru, Bolivia, and Argentina, Solis features many unique environments and places to discover, from lush rainforests to mysterious caves, dense cities, and hidden temples. Every biome is packed with people to meet and amazing vehicles to experiment with. Plus, all populated with iconic landmarks, a variety of animals, and incredible vistas. But behind the beauty lies a dangerous phenomenon, 
Solis suffers frequent extreme weather events. Tornadoes, torrential lightning storms, blizzards and sandstorms all form systemically in the world. At the heart of the narrative, Rico will pursue the source of these destructive forces whilst hoping to clean up his family's name. But Rico will face a new breed of adversary with advanced technology who control all resources on Solis. Meet Gabriela Morales, leader of the Black Hand's powerful private army and Rico's fiercest rival yet. To confront her, you will need to build an army and fight along new and familiar faces. Each character you meet and each mission they give you, no matter how big or small, will all aid you in your quest against the Black Hand. The main plot of the game unfolds on your terms. Players will tackle each and every objective in any order they choose. Your own actions and itinerary will decide what you experience on Solis. We've taken everything players love about Just Cause and improved on it, throwing in bold new gameplay systems that are as fun as they are visually stunning. Extreme weather events bring new, interactive physics systems and new combat opportunities. Rico's grapple, his iconic gear, is now fully customizable with boosters, airlifters, and tethers, each element featuring tunable parameters that generate millions of permutations of loadout for countless hours of fun and amazing stunts. Getting around is just as exciting on the ground as it is in the air, with more vehicles than ever, from agile microjets to new construction vehicles, all built to be used, destroyed, and then resupplied to players. Whether you intend to create chaos or just lay down some serious stunts, our world offers an unparalleled amount of terrain and toys designed around player creativity. Ask for a custom supply drop Equip your best grapple combo and unleash your creativity. Want to fly a tank over an enemy base? Fancy destroying an entire settlement with a giant inflammable custom-made bomb? If you can imagine it, you can do it. Each and every weapon is designed to offer something unique and we made sure each brought something different to the table. Weapon options range from the powerful to the downright incredible, and each weapon has a devastating secondary fire mode. For those looking for a more hardcore experience, head for the front line. New to Just Cause 4, the front line is where Solis's rebels have gone to war against the Black Hand. In these war zones, players will experience high levels of heat and incredible firepower. Just Cause offers more than ever, and you can look forward to unlocking more tools and toys to play with as you experience the game's story campaign and explore the world of Solis. The world is yours, and what you do with it is up to you. Okay, so I've had my wisdom teeth out like two days ago, so that's why I sound sort of buggered at the moment.